Good day to you all. It's time for a little reading for you. I think a little bit of guidance. And today I'm going to use another set of cards. I don't use these very often. Some people might find these a little bit intimidating, to be honest with you. Because we're using the Mayan cards. Mayans, as you probably know, were well known for their um, human sacrifice, shall we say, and if you have a darker eyes, but they're also very good at prophesizing things on top of everything else. I will work on the more lighter side, obviously. But I have these a while now, so I don't often use these, but I feel today, for some reason, I'm drawn to them. So it's all about a new start, I feel. Let's see what comes out, shall we? So three cards. I can't believe I started a Christmas Day message with human sacrifice, but there you go. So here we go. We go this one. Two. Three. Okay, I trust you've all had a wonderful Christmas time. Certainly really enjoying a little break from work. It's all going to go tomorrow, but hey, it's all good. Let's see what we've got first up here. Hmm. Seems to me, it almost reminds me, I know it's strange that people won't see that, but it's almost like there's a clothing there. It's like, you know, it's like um, old clothing. So I would say the time has come for a few of us to brighten ourselves up a bit. So I see this as freshening up our image a little bit. Because yeah, we kind of get tired, don't we? We wear the same old things, we wear the same old stuff. And it becomes a bit of a prison. It becomes a bit of a kind of like, almost like a heavy sort of like oppression. So take the oppression off by sort of like reinventing yourself on this. It's, it is like, you know, getting some new clothing, throwing away the old tired stuff. So it's kind of like, go for your wardrobe. That thing you ain't worn for two years, it's just sitting there, chuck it out. Get rid, because it ain't serving you. So that is how I'm seeing it. Also as a duality there, I see that as a keyboard mouse as well, because that, that reminds me of a mouse. So not, not like the squeaky kind, but like, you know, so it's like, now, obviously, technology can take context, but using this in a positive way, use your technology to actually influence your life in a good way, as opposed to you know spending hours and waste pointless time on Snapchat or whatever you guys do with your mobiles. Forget about that. This is actually using technology to your benefit as well. So that's kind of what the first one is. It's new clothes. Use the technology to your benefit. Okay, second up, we have this little one there. This through this really looks kind of odd, if I turn that way around, it reminds me of snooker and tennis. So this is about pastimes, I feel. So I'm seeing like a snooker table with tennis rackets there. So this is kind of like working the body, getting it moving. Now I'm not talking about New Year's resolution, go to the gym and all that old cobblers. Um, if you're gonna go to the gym, go anytime. It doesn't have to be like start of the year. Start, because I've started going up back a couple of months ago. And it's nothing to do with resolutions. It's just the fact that we need to keep our bodies moving. This is kind of what this tells me as well. So why not get a few of you together, a little bit of a group sports, a little bit of friendly banter and competition. But the point here is to actually get the body moving, even though snooker is hardly the most sort of like um, a really, uh, physically demanding sport in the world. There is actually a lot of mental um, stimulus with snooker. It's a bloody hard game to play as well. And obviously tennis as well is a little bit more energetic. But it is kind of like embracing that sporty side of you and letting it out in whatever shape or form. Now I know some of you may say, well, that's impossible. Find something that you can kind of like um, get involved in. Yeah, I will say compete, compete a little bit. You know, I'm not one who is into major competition or stuff, but sometimes we need to push ourselves that a little competition will actually do that. So go on that aspect as well. Finally. We have this card here. And what we got saying on going on there. So there is like this is like ancient knowledge I feel. There's knowledge locked in. This almost feels like a kind of a like a crown, it's like a mask. And we all wear this mask in our daily lives where we kind of like go out there and it's like this mask is who people uh, perceive us to be. Let me tell you something that the perception of who you think you are is absolutely non-existent. Um, I could be a bit controversial here and say like this body, this mind, whatever you are, it's actually almost like an apparition of the true self because when you expire, um, this mask disappears, you cease to be. 
but you carry on, which is kind of like difficult to get your head around. But kind of like what this is saying is like this mask we wear actually hides our real true self. A true self is a creature of your pure joy and in happiness. But by God, all the stuff, the environment we live in, this world we can be quite toxic. And we have this mask almost as protection to like shield ourselves away from the, the rubbish, shall we say. So we kind of have to release the mask sometimes. Let the mask uh, come down and let our joyful side come out. Like I was saying, there's a nice great big white orb there. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not real orbs, this is just the sound of it. If it's curious how it's just staying there. But it's kind of like what I feel this is. It is kind of like releasing that mask and letting the mask down and let your light shine. So, you know, I know 29 years, it's been eight minutes, it could be a bit of that, which has been pretty rubbish for, for myself and many others. A lot of rubbish going on. And it's kind of like, it kind of like makes us put this great big flipping sort of like, you know, Imagine sort of like knights of the old Templars with this great big shield up and it's or this, this big metal helm. It's kind of like I almost see that as like a metal helm there. And it's kind of what we do. We need to take it off. We really need to take it off and let ourselves shine again because like it's so easy to get yourself a little bit beaten up <laughs> in front of, front of a better word. So do try. I know it's not easy. I know some of us it's it's kind of like you know you think well how do I do that? But it is releasing the mask, release the mask, throw it away, you don't need it, and kind of like, you know, learn to learn to laugh again. <laughs> That's how I see that. Okay, I hope that will make sense. So let's just go through that once again. We have here the first one, you release those old clothes, get you, freshen yourself up, release the past almost, and get some new clothing. You know, and it's really go through your wardrobe, come out with a new image. Second up, Get out there, play sports uh, in whatever way you can and is realistic, you know, but the more energetic, the better. And as I say, don't necessarily mean a new year's resolution, go out of the gym and release the mask that we've all got around us. You know, stop, be true to yourself and don't kind of like, you know, dance to other people's tunes because you'll, you'll never find happiness like that. So there we go, guys. That is everything for today. Any questions, feel free to send me a message. And of course, if you like a proper reading, not necessarily with these bad boys, as they are pretty near the knuckle, um, feel free to send me a message and I'll, of course, we'll make that happen for you. And that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas break and, of course, have a wonderful new year. Take care. Much love. See you soon.